Hey Legionnaires and welcome back away with some more NTW3 for you today and this is a huge battle that we have for you today. Look at this, we can see some Danish already clashing with some uh, Russian 1812. But yeah, we have a huge 4v4 for you today. We have uh, Denmark obviously as you can see they're just getting involved in the battle now. We have the Guard Imperial of the French here and as you saw we saw all this young guard over here positioned behind this house. We have Bavaria and we also have... Um, we also have like Spanish version of France, like the Spanish expedition, uh, like the French expedition into Spain. So I'll just probably talk, call them uh, like France 1814 or something like that. But they are like the uh, the Spanish expedition that uh, was sent off by the French. And you can see here that we have uh, some uh, cavalry going in here. We have some uh, chevaliers of the uh, of the guard going in, and they're facing off against some of these uh, this cavalry here. What are these cavalry actually? Is this, Pol this is Polish Ullens fighting for the uh, fighting for the Russians, Polski. And we've got more cavalry coming in here. We've got more Chevrolet. We've got Danish cavalry coming in as well. And they're going to get rid of the Russian threat once and for all. And there you go. All the Russian cavalry is gone. But fighting for the Allies today, obviously Russian 1812. We also have like this Spanish faction, I believe this is. It's like a Spanish faction. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, like This is called like the Laventimian. Laventa Mieto Popular. I know I presume they're just like maybe the Spanish resistance or something like that, or like the Spanish troops that are left that are like loyal to the uh like or anti Napoleon. I'm not really sure, but they look awesome. Look at that cannon. Little three pounder there. Um but anyway, yeah, we've got the Spanish, we have the Austrians over here, eighteen oh nine version, and then we also have the Swedes. The Swedes which are now uh Got a lot of their cavalry out on this right flank here. You can see a lot of dragoons. And uh, yeah, a lot of dragoons. We've got some Karassias as well. And some Hussars. All facing off against all the Bavarians. Oh my gosh. This artillery is just taking chunks out of this dragoon unit of, uh, of Bavarians. And you can see there's another one here. Chevrolet. But look at all this cavalry. This is a huge assortment of cavalry. Probably gonna, like... Maybe... I'd engage this before this gets support. Because I don't know where like the uh, Swedish infantry is. But it can't be anywhere nearby. Yeah, the uh, Swedish artillery is just putting chunks into any, uh, any of the cavalry over here that just uh, gets in the way. Looks like it's going to be uh, 1814 France and it's going to be Bavaria going up against Russia and Sweden. And maybe Austria as well. Russia looks like he's a bit everywhere. And you can see the guard may have to come across and support against Russia. And then you imagine then it could be the Danish going up against the Spanish, you imagine. But if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel, I would love to see some more glorious... Uh, Musket fire and cannon shots and all sorts of glorious uniforms of the various Napoleonic uh, eras. Then uh, do leave a like, subscribe from you around here, and a comment to show you support. And you can see what some uh, just like a Jaeger cavalry unit. There's just like going a bit of a suicidal charge. I think it's going for this artillery up here. Don't think it's going to break it in time. This is a huge artillery position. So five artillery, yeah, like five guns in this artillery unit. This is huge. And yeah, that uh, Bavarian unit breaks. Even before it reaches the uh, like the lines. We've got a lot of Austrians here. Ready and in camp. They actually have a lot of guns, the Austrians. They've uh, got another 10-pounder here. The uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss. The Swedes are set up one as well. I already know. I'm going to be mixing the Swiss and the Swedes up. And the Swiss aren't even here. This is a 10-pounder. It's got five. This must be expensive. A 10-pounder. Like, five units of ten, five guns there. And they're all 10-pounders. That's very, very good. But as you can see here, the setting up's kind of just getting underway. And uh, they're kind of just trying to test out where everyone's weak. Personally, I would say that the Spanish are probably the weakest of the uh, of the factions. Probably. I mean, the Spanish are just generally never that great in history. And um, that's kind of like passed over into like NTW3 and Napoleon. Um, so I imagine like if they sent a decent force against it, like maybe the, some of the French units and the Danish, the entire Danish force... They could break through the Spanish line quite nicely and then force uh, the Russians to turn more this way instead of, like, helping out against Bavaria and the other French army. Uh, Austria also not got great infantry. It's got some good cavalry, but his infantry is not that great, so uh, certainly putting a lot of pressure on the Austrians also could be quite a good idea. But also the Danish and uh, the Bavarians, they're pretty average. They're not, like, really, really good factions. I mean, they've got some pretty good units, but they're not, like, Amazing, not like the guard imperial over there. It's gonna do a lot of damage. You can see we've got uh, Lots of uh, light infantry waiting here. This is a big light infantry unit, 95 men in a unit 
Got a lot of... I imagine they've got a lot in this tree line. I think that's what the Danish are worried about. You can see that they're sending units off in there. They're a bit worried about that. What's going on over here? Oh, the French are still getting, like, pounded with artillery. They need to just get the cavalry, like, either throw it in. See, they missed their chance. Now, the Swedes have got their infantry up here to support the cavalry. They now have all of this infantry. Sweden's infantry also, I wouldn't have said, was, like, that amazing. Um, but I don't know. It just doesn't look that great, possibly. Austria's bringing up some cavalry, some hussars. It's going to go off into the forest. I wonder if they're going to try and do some sort of attack onto the French, but one unit cavalry is not going to stop all of this cavalry over here. There's a lot of it as well. Yeah, wow, look at these units. I mean, that one's lost none, but this one's lost quite a few men. This one's lost about, yeah, about 10 or so. The Crassies as well getting hit. Sending up infantry now to match the Swedes' infantry. But yeah, I can't really see any engagements just about yet. So we'll just fast forward for now. Fast forward while uh, everyone tries to find each other, I guess. Because that's the thing with the NTW3. Line of sight is not great. Like You can barely see any of the Russian army. I don't think we've seen any of it, really, bar some cavalry. I've seen some guns over here, obviously. These are 12-pounders. Jeez, these are four 12-pounders there. They must be good as well. Good RC unit. Let's get a volley off. A volley off for the, for the subs. And if you're not sub, don't watch this arty volley. That's what I say. You're not allowed. You'll be banned. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Don't think it really hit anything. They kind of went into the ground there. Yeah, they're kind of... Yeah. There's a bit of a hill that these uh, Bavarians are hiding behind. So they're pretty safe from that Russian artillery there. Oh, there is actually some cavalry. Oh, no, it's not cavalry. It's line infantry, sorry. Very, very close. Some Jaegers in here. I wonder if they're going to try and get some shots off on some of the French infantry over here. They might not want to reveal them. Oh, no, they are definitely hit seen. They're, they're apparently firing. Yeah, I've yet to see a firing. Any shots go off yet. We actually have a cavalry unit as well. It's really wide here. This is some Spanish cavalry over on the other side. This is some Spanish cavalry here. It's really, really wide. They are actually, with well, the guerrilla unit, they are... Surely able to be, be seen, because if we can see them, then that means that the uh, Danish and the French can see them. Yet to do anything, though, the Danish have a big infantry. I mean, look at this infantry that the Danish have brought. There's a lot of it. Hopefully they can use it effectively. Um, I mean, having a lot of infantry is never always a great thing. It means that often you brought a lot of rubbish. But you can see that the first shots of the battle have, uh, have started, and they're going to come from Sweden. He's going to fire off some uh, shots from his uh, skirmishers. Picking off the officers of the French over there. That's what you'd be doing if you're a skirmisher in this period. You'd be picking off officers, flag bearers, sergeants. Anyone of some notable rank. They, they're they the first to go. And then you just pick off anyone else that you like. Well, that was certainly the case with the British anyway. That's what they did. Actually, a cavalry unit that's got in. It's not really in behind. But yeah, this Austrian unit here is taking a few shots. But it is kind of behind the Guard Imperial line. And it's in, but it's in front of the Bavarians. It's kind of in that awkward spot. And you can see that it's that awkward. The French had to go and put some uh, lancers over here to deal with it. I love this lancer unit. It's like a rouge uh, unit over there. Look like we've got some... Uh, what we've got here? We've got some cavalry. We've got some uh, hussars here. And they're going to run down these Jaegers. And that's uh, not a bad idea. Get rid of them. Get them off the battlefield. Russians setting up more cavalry here. As well. And it looks like the first firefight, the proper line fights have begun. The Russians are in the woods. The Russians are in the woods, and I bet that caught the Danish unaware. And yeah, you can see they take a lot of hits here. This is like Landwehr, this is first unit going in. The Russians here with their uh, musketeers in the la in the woods, sorry, doing their best. Let's have a volley, men. For the Tsar. Excellent, excellent. And yeah, they'll they'll probably route those land bear in time. I mean, they've got some better infantry up now. They've got like these look like Jaegers here. Um, yeah, a lot of Jaegers coming up. So a lot more like uh, light infantry now. They're actually falling back. They're giving uh, they're giving they're giving a uh, way to the Russians. I think the Russians were doing okay, but they are losing a lot of men themselves. The Spanish, are, uh, I think, got a longer line than the French here. And you can see the Russians are going to take advantage of this. They're going to be able to form square. Surely these young guard can form square. They're going to get charged anyway by the uh, Polish Ullens here. These Poles that were fighting usually fight for the French. 
fighting against them here. And this unit might go. This is a young garden. It's an expensive unit. All the guard imperial units are. Surely these guys can form square. And they've been saved. And they're actually going to get a nice volley off of the French in return. Oh, that's nasty. That carry should have persisted. I mean, there's artillery now going off, putting holes into this trillion unit. Most of these guys, I would have thought, would get up. And yeah, there you go. The French have now routed the uh, the Russians here. And the Russians are bringing even more across this way. Bavaria needs to push up hard. You can see the Lion Infantry here. They're going to try and threat threaten the flank of the French guards. And the French guards are going fully in there. They're really pushing on the Spanish. Here we go. It's like an absolute hell right now. I mean, the Danish are nearly up to the line of the Spanish here. They're so close. These Lion Infantry here. We have a volley. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, look at the artillery. It's so close. Apparently, the battle's almost done. It's just about begun, sir. I think you mean. Put a 12 pounder here. Volley! Quickly! Put a hole into you. Oh, the French are breaking there. What's that breaking? Is that Young Guard? That must be. Is Cavalry coming, though? Look at that Grenadier Cheval coming. And they're going to kill the men with the top hats. It's the men with style get killed off. Yeah, these uh, Young Guard trilliers are gone already. They're really good units as well. They don't can't really afford to have them gone. Yeah, some of these units are getting pretty beaten up for the French. And there you go. The gun's gone. And now the uh, Grenadier Cheval. I mean, they're in there. They're going to be fighting off against these, uh, these infantry here. They're breaking them. There's a hole in the line here now forming up. The Spanish are, are breaking. The uh, French and the Danish are in, really. They've only got to break through this uh, few light infantry units here. And they've split, like, the Spanish and the Russian forces here. And this, like, half of the defense, which is mainly Russian here. These Russians are going to have to fall back. Yeah, falling back and right uh, in their perspective. Falling back and left, if you're looking, from the Danish. And they're going to try and rejoin here. But, I mean, they're not going to do it because the French are going absolutely ham. They're going deep in enemy lines, these Grenadier Chevals. And now they're going to bounce off. They're going to go into those uh, Lion from Tree, causing all sorts of uh, problems over there. On the far side, it looks like the uh, Swedes, not quite ready yet, but they are setting up. Maybe actually, the French are opening fire. What have they got there? Well, it's like opening fire. got some uh, Lion infantry here that put some shots into the first... Uh, the first shots over here against the Swedes. Don't know if I'm a fan of this uniform here. This uniform's a bit... Don't know. A bit dull. Put it like that. Compared to like the... Uh, the uh, the young guard over here. Obviously the young guard have the fanciest uniforms by the old guard. But uh, even still. Even still. You could have a better uniform than those ones over there with the Spanish. But they were mainly fighting in like... Cold. Wet. Conditions. So they wouldn't have as maybe fancy uniforms. I don't know. They want more purpose-built ones. You can see here the uh, Grenadier Cheval still going, like, in. And they're actually routing a lot of Russian units here. Yeah, they're going to get out of there now. Sir, our general is under General's attack. under attack. Who's General's under attack? Uh, oh, it's um, this one here. As you know, is under attack. Okay. I guess it's getting shot by our three. But that's just a risk you have to play. Uh, and I think this is a huge mistake here by the... Uh, by the Swedes and by the Austrians. They're narrowing that, like, they're just making it really narrow. So they're fighting between the red line here and basically this forest, making it very nice and easy for the French to stretch out of one long infantry line. And it's just going to become a grind. They need to find, like, ways to flank around. The Spanish actually have forces over here as well. They have some, uh, some cavalry here. They probably need that over on their side more than here. But uh, who knows? Bavaria is really pushing hard here. I guess if there's any units back here, any Austrians, any... Just Russians, Spanish, whatever. They could push hard here now because Bavaria is pushing hard on these Russian guns. And on the Russians, look how far, how close they are. These Bavarians here going to open point blank range on those Russians. Oh my god. They are not getting up with those Russians. Look at that breaking. You don't usually see that from one like musket fire, but those just get rear shot, like shot in the rear. Point blank range. Lost so many men. That was basically a fresh unit. It was down to 75 men. And yeah, they are pushing hard. The uh, Russians and the uh, and the Spanish in full retreat here. And uh, and yeah, I mean the French here are really pushing hard. I mean, what, who needs young guard? Uh, who needs old guard? Sorry, when you have the young guard, the young guard doing a lot of work here. You can see these uh, Spanish skirmishers falling back again. 
They're going to try and fall back to this sort of uh, village here, maybe. I mean, there's a big Russian cav unit here that might need to get committed at some point. Some Karassias here. They may need co committing. Russians over here, they're in a real bit of trouble. These Russians are kind of cut off. It's very much up to the Danish, though, and the French not to forget about this force here. They need to finish it off uh, before they can, like, really push on here. They can't have this thorn in their back, these, these Russian thorns. Because, I mean, there's six units here. They can do a lot of damage. And there's some Spanish cavalry somewhere off in these woods. Actually, all the way over here, they can see it. They've got, like, a tiny little unit of uh, cavalry here just keeping an eye on it. I guess. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is what they're dealing with. Over on this side, it looks like the uh, the Austrians and the French and the Swedes are engaged. And uh, they're going to do their bit. I love... I don't know why the Austrian like, uniforms are so cool. Mainly because they're so different. They're not very good units, but they look quite good in a, in a way. Because there's so variety. I mean, the, this can't be all the Swedish infantry. There must be more, um, I would have thought. You can see here the French are actually... Uh, Breaking, they've had some hussars break on them. Bavaria's having to send in cavalry to break some of this uh, Russian Kazakh cavalry that's gone. We've got more infantry. We've got line infantry actually that's committed um, to try and rout this Russian gun, which they've done. They've then been countered by some Spanish cavalry, which is also broken. So the Bavarians broken through. Spain and Russia are in full retreat. Full retreat. It's going to come down to Sweden and the Austrians to break 18, uh, 14 France over here. The Spanish. Uh, expedition sent by the French. But this is so narrow. It's such a narrow position. Look at this. Well, this artillery piece. The six pounder here. Just able to put chunks. Taking chunks out of these Swedes in right in front of them. Don't even need to aim. Just point running. the gun in the general direction and you'll hit something. They got some good units. They got some uh, Saxon or Saxon Altenburg here. Got a lot of uh, Hanoverians as well. Got a lot of Germans here. What we got here? Raw Resilion. Oh, that's a cool unit. What we got here? Some Prussians. They often have the Prussian units here. More Hanoverian. Hope these guys aren't firing. They got that in reserve. Um, yeah, they got some good units here. I mean, I say good. They're just different, which is what I like to see. Lots of cavalry back here. Set up by the French. I mean, that's that's good to see. What we've got here? We've got uh, Hussars. We've got Chasseur de Cheval. Lots of Chasseur de Cheval. I think all the big stuff like Carassias and uh, Dragoons are all on that far side. May want to move that across, I'm thinking, because, I mean, there's a lot of look at this, all this cavalry and stuff back here for the Allies, if we call them that. Uh, but it's um, going to be interesting to see what they can do with it. Uh, as you can see, actually, the Russian Thorn is kind of now the, the main French uh, and Danish like front line that they need to fight on. The everywhere else is broken. There you go, for the Tsar men, fight to the death. What have we got here? We've got Russians pushing forward, actually. They're going to charge. And they're getting countered now by some, uh, some of those Grenadier Cheval there in here. And they form square to those Russians. And they're going to scare off the cavalry like so. Very nicely done. Yeah, I mean, the Danish have got a cavalry unit behind in their rear charging this unit breaking like that. Look at that. 16 men broke a unit of 70. That's insane. That's how mad this uh, mod is sometimes. And what we've got here, we've got some more Spanish units coming up. I don't know where the rest of their men are. They're back here somewhere. Russia has got, a, got, got some units here that need uh, moving for various. Otherwise, it's going to chase them down, shoot them in the back. What have we got breaking in here? Another Russian unit. A lot of these units getting caught out. Grenadiers, they are. They need, they've been really key. For defending maybe a building or what. They need to find a building and defend it now to the Russians. But we're going to move over to here. Because this is where the main fight is kind of going on now. We now have, uh, obviously, like, the Spanish French army here doing their bit. Got, like, those Germans here firing off some shots. These men used to fight for the Allies. All the coalition forces are now forced to fight against them. They can't even see the Austrians, I just want to point out. They're firing over a slope. They can't even see these guys. Probably want to get on top of this slope here. Now, that's what they're about to do, I think. You can see they're pushing up. I feel like they were quite happy to stay behind the slope because also the Austrian shots weren't doing anything. But I think they realized they can take a bit of a... They can push forward a bit. I like the, all they got going on here. They've got like, the yeah, artillery here and they've got cavalry in behind. So, like, if they ever at one point, they just want to, like, send the cavalry through a bit of a, 
like a shock at any moment. They don't have to like push it through infantry, which is going to slow down a charge. They just have to go through this cab, uh, through this artillery. Sorry, and then they're in. Um, not something that the Swedes can do really. The French are. That was a really nice volley. Very satisfying watching like, every unit fire off at once. The Swedes. Got Swedish cavalry back there actually moving up. What's that Swedish cavalry doing? We've got a Swedish cavalry coming over. It looks like it's going to try and support against the uh, Bavarians. You see that the uh, guard French here. Pretty depleted, I mean, some of these units. I mean, there are some fresh ones as well. Pretty fresh. Got a... Uh, yeah, you got a lot of young guard. Got, like... I think this is middle guard. She says, um, like, Apid. I'm not really sure what that is. But it's just a... So they're pretty good. Uh, we've got a, K a Kutusov in here. This is not a good sign. He's just on his own in a building. The Danes could just charge in at any moment. The last few Russians here holding the line. No retreat, men. I mean, apart from these ones that are retreating. There's some someone dying very painfully and slowly there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like the Spanish have just been blown away. I thought they'd attack it first. The Spanish is such a weak underbelly. Very good supporting faction. Uh, because they've got some pretty cool, like, guerrilla units. Uh, they're quite good for harassing. But, like, this main line, they cannot do. They cannot do at all. I feel like they might be better off, uh, like, where the Austrians were, possibly. Austria didn't really seem to be in a fight straight off the bat. He had no one to face. So he's gone over to support the Swedes, obviously. And, uh, I mean, that's not a bad idea. But, like, I think the Spanish could have done with that. And, like, Austria and the Russians could have faced the guards... And the Danes, I don't think, like, Austria would have done much better because their infantry is pretty cr crap. But, you know. Here we go. What we got here? Got some Hussars. They've changed their mind. They charged out, went into no man's land, and went, no, this is not happening. They've got to be careful of these Swedes. They can just gun down their own cavalry. And, I mean, the French were very aware. They had their cavalry right uh, ready to charge out and defend the guns if needs be. The guns now can uh, start firing again. We'll have a volley. What is he firing at? Oh, he's firing right over there. Is that the general? That might be the general of the Swedes. No, it's just another artillery piece. Just firing on an artillery piece. He's gonna fire. There we go. Nice here. I don't know if you saw that, guys, but uh, that, that shot here just went straight through this unit here of infantry. I think he took out some of the crew as well. I'm not really sure, um, but that was a really, really nice shot. Yeah, you can see the. Look at this. Look at this columns. The columns of the Danish here. And we got uh, Bavarians and Spanish in combat here. Uh, could go either way a bit, actually. Looks like Bavarians are breaking in some areas. Yeah, Bavarians breaking. And we've got plenty more to come up there with the Danish. Plenty more to come up. Yeah, Bavarians breaking. That's uh, a lot of line infantry that just Our broke. And they're now supplementing this front line with cavalry of the Spanish. Not a good sign. And look at this. He's got a nice little flank here by Bavaria. It doesn't matter. He's like, I don't care if I lose how many line infantry. I've got these light infantry that can come around. Light and grenadiers and line. Jeez, got all sorts here. Got some more Spanish hiding in there. These uh, these light infantry have like been the or skirmishers have been like the only saving grace. They've been not getting many kills possibly, but they've been annoying, annoying to the uh, to the coalition forces. Probably gonna kill here and there, but nothing a major. This carry, so be careful. It's getting some. I mean, this hussar unit is probably gonna do okay. A lot of units here forming square. Trying to counter. And yeah, I mean, now, once they've kind of defeated this uh, force here, they can push up and threaten the flank of the Austrians and the Swedes. And they've taken a building? Oh, they've just taken Kutuzov's... They have taken Kutuzov's building. So the Russians are without an army and a general, I believe. We have killed their and there's generals, a general dead. Um, yeah, that's Kutuzov again, just dying. Uh, so that's a big, that's a big win there. The Russians, yeah, I think are out. And here we go. The Swedes are coming up. They're going for the guns. They've gone for the French guns. In go their dragoons. And they're facing off against the Carassias. They have broken the guns. 
So that's a big win there. And, I mean, it looks like they're gonna br these two are going to break. I mean, I'm not sure exactly. Grassy is here. And the French look a little bit shaky. They've got a lot of units that are, like, not breaking, but, like, there's, you can see the damage to their morale happening. I don't know. It's going to be close. Yeah, this, this Grassy unit here, yeah, it's breaking everything. It's going to break this one as well. There you go. And that scared off any potential uh, threat from the cavalry. I mean, this also unit here is in square, which is firing to the flank. Got Bavarians already over here as well. Got some Jaeger Caravaneers. That's cool. Uh, and there you go. Got some more Swedish cavalry. They were going to go in, but these uh, these young guard or middle guard here. Forming square. They need to form square with most of these units. What have we got here? Got those uh, Grenadier Cheval. I mean, these guys have been nasty all game. And they're breaking this uh, Swedish cavalry very easily as well. And now they can move on the guns. I mean, they already are. They've got some uh, middle guard here. Already pushing on these guns and the light infantry. We've got some Schutzen. Jaeger Schutzen. Firemen! Fire when ready! Fire at Will as well. I feel sorry for that kid called Will. Yeah, he's middle guard. They're not even paying attention to them. Not even paying attention to them. They're just moving past them like they're a little gnat, really. I mean, there's a lot of Austrian cav here, though. We've got. Lots of Crassiers. Yeah, look at that. We've got Ferdinand, Hernzol and Crassiers, Hussars. Yeah, I mean, they've got some good stuff left of the Coalition. So whether they can use it correctly, they're going to need to route a lot of stuff. And what have they just sent in? Just sent in... Uh, oh, that's just the 10 pound getting destroyed. They're sending their Hussars. They actually have sent some infantry as well to try and scare off the uh, Danish cavalry. And I mean, they might, do, they might do just that. They've lost it. I presume that's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the big one routing. That's a shame. That, that's a good unit of artillery. Twelve, uh, five ten pounders. Oh, can it? Please tell me this artillery is going to fire. Please tell me this artillery is going to fire. Put a hole, in, a big hole into this uh, middle guard. Go on. Nope, they're in combat. Ah! What a shame. What a shame. What have we got over here? We've got Austria. I'm, Austria's got like stuff all over the place. It's got grenadiers here. Got some like grenadiers that have been hiding in this house. I'd have fallen these guys back. They have an entire two armies here, really, just bearing down on you. Yeah, I think the Spanish are well and truly broken, gone. Oh no, they. <laughs> I say that, and then two units appear. This is. I feel like that's Napoleon felt like in 1809, or like when he thought he conquered all Spain and Portugal. Like, oh well, they're gone, and then all of a sudden they just reappear as like cutthroat gorillas. And uh, not like the animal. That would be very weird. Like a cutthroat gorilla. Like a pirate gorilla. The pirate of the jungle. No. Um, it's like a... Almost like a... I don't know. A, a terrorist before they were a terrorist. Almost. That's how like the Spanish gorillas operate. They like killed... Um, like higher ranking officers. They uh, like damaged... They attacked supply trains. All sorts of things like that. It's like... Well, it's guerrilla warfare is what it is. You know, if you know your history and, like, your, your warfare, you know what I mean. Uh, but, yeah, we've got some uh, Dragoons here. They're trying to break through this line of infantry. Not going to happen. The form the square. They may get a nasty volley here in the back. Go on, Germans. Put a big old... Sh oh, no, that's... Uh, they missed their chance. They could have put a really nice volley into the back of these uh, Dragoons. Yeah, like I said, the Swedish infantry is just not that great. Sweden's just a rough faction to play. A rough faction indeed. I mean, they're trying to... Uh, yeah, look at that. They're trying to hold on, but... I mean, not really successful at all. And you can see the French now peeling on round. I mean, they've got their Grenadier Cheval. This unit, I'll be really interested to see what kills it's got at the end. Actually, I don't know if we will be able to see, but... This unit, I'm sure it's got like 200 plus kills. Swedish infantry here. Doing their bit. Looks like the cavalry for the, Sw uh, the Swedish are going to come up and do another attempt. Got the Dragoons here. They were 101 men at one point. 101 men. Look at that, they're getting ready. I mean, the, the thing is that they came at the wrong time. Everyone just fired. 
and they were the first into the line. And now the uh, Swedes replied, or well, the Austrians, sorry, replied with the shots, and they're getting shot in the back. They've got cavalry ready. I mean, what's the charge, really? I mean, they got the artillery piece. They've got nothing else. I mean, this is just a solid line of infantry. You're just not going to break through this. And now you can see that the uh, the guard is now on the right flank of this uh, this French formation. It's coming a bit of a crescent. There you go, they're falling back. And they're actually breaking these guys. Even worse than falling back. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three units breaking. I mean, they're getting flanked as well hard. They've got these uh, Grenadier Cheval in here. And they're, uh, they're falling back. You can see that we've got uh, some Karassis here. I wonder if they're being lured in to them face all these infantry here. They actually are going to go after this, uh, this middle guard here. Can't form square, though. I mean, it's just, yeah. It's not looking good now for the Austrians and for the uh, Swedish. What have we got over here? A Russian infantry. The Russians have returned. They're not quite finished yet. What are they going to try and do? They're going to try and take that health from the Grenadiers. Don't think they're going to quite achieve that, but it's always worth a try. Trying's what matters. We've got a Spanish unit over here. One of those uh, light infantry units. Routed by Dragoons. Seems like there's another unit here, or is that the one I'm looking at? Oh no, there's another Russian unit here. Look at that. I don't know if the Russian player is, like, seeing this, or what. I, I've certainly Bavaria is. He's got a, uh, a live infantry unit ready just to shoot them. These poor guys. And look at that, they're breaking. I are mean, not breaking, their morale's really low. They just charged them with, like, a tiny little unit carry. That would do. And the Swedish are now falling back. I mean, they're going to get... I mean, the thing is, will they get back in time to anywhere decent? I mean, they've got this cavalry. They might need to throw that cavalry and try and route a few of these French units just to try and get the rest of their infantry out. What's this over here? It's a, just a provisional guard, oh, guard, provisional hussars. Looking low on morale. I mean, yeah, that's the problem as well. If anything breaks here, it's going to go straight off the red line. That's a risk for both French and Austrian troops. You can see, look at this. Austrian here just broke. It's going to just go straight off the red line and tell the battle. It may have returned anywhere else in the battlefield. And now they're red lining here. Since they've got nowhere else to go. And these uh, these German troops here are just going to gun them down. Germans versus Germans. Oh, now they're forming squares. It's the worst when they receive like musket fire. It's so well blobbed up. Now they march forward a bit. Look at the cavalry coming across here. They're going to try and break these guys? I mean, that's a bold play. They, oh, they actually did it. Wow. They charged straight into like a really deep square there and just broke them. That's What's the point in the square? <laughs> then we've got uh, Austria and the Spanish with the last few units here. I mean, Austria's got a magnificent cavalry army left. Like I said, a lot of Carassias. Magnificent. Not so much the infantry. I think all his money went into his uh, his cavalry. I think he had only like five or six units of infantry. Didn't seem to have a lot. Put it like that. Um, but they're going to fall back here. If they can pull this back, the Allies. This will be one of the greatest comebacks of history. Farmhouse has been claimed by the uh, French and their Allies. Yeah, the Danish in here. What have we got here? Uh, oh, it's just like a Chevrolet unit just rowing. Or oh, chasing down some Russians. I think the Russians are all gone that way over here. And it is just down to the Swedes. Which are being desperately chased down by the French. They want to get every single last one of these guys. There's a lot of cavalry. As soon as it's going to be cavalry and a cavalry based army. They just... I've been looking at this cavalry. They've been like, no, I don't want it to get hurt. I don't want it to get hurt. And then sacrifice their infantry. Because, because of it. And here we go. They're going into some of the guards. And the form square.
And they've charged into the Spanish army as well here. Look at this. I mean, I'm sure this crass unit's got to break some French units. I don't know. It's like attacking three or four at the same time. He's going for the general. He's going all the way for Junot back here. And uh, they're actually throwing in their own cavalry now. They might break this French unit. Oh, maybe two. Yeah, broke one. Two. Come on, make it a third. This crass unit has lost 50 men now. It's pretty rough. Send in more cavalry. What have we got left to use these guys for? Just send them in here. What have we got here? This is going to Cheval unit again. I swear to God, this unit just won't die. I keep seeing it pop up everywhere. And it's going after a general. It's going after the Austrian general. He's guarded by some uh, Carassias of the Swedes. And they're gone as well. Got the uh, Swedish infantry. The last of it anyway. Just hiding in here. Finally, that Austrian unit breaks back here. Carassius just broke. There you go. I don't know if Juno has been saved, though. Our men are running I honestly don't think he did get saved. No, I don't think he did. That's a shame. Oh, no. Maybe he did. I can't tell. No, I think he might have gone. Unless there's him all the way over there and there's Mortier. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Juno's on the battlefield. Just got uh, just got deleted. We have got some uh, cavalry in here. We've got some of that Danish cavalry just going in. We're outing some of these uh, Swiss infantry. We've got French infantry in here as well. The, mi the middle guard doing their bit. And I think they're pushing on this final house here, which is defended by, uh, well, it's defended by the Spanish general. They're going to send in some uh, line infantry, get rid of him. There must be some sort of infantry in as well because uh yeah there's some like some are these lifeguards or something there might be lifeguards for the, uh, for the swedes certainly grenadiers at least yeah they're lifeguards in here oh they're gonna take a long time to break through got some spanish going in there some spanish hussars where are they gonna go Taking a little bit of the left. Oh, they're going for a rear charge into this very, very nice. They're fighting the Spanish general out here. Well, they've, I mean, they're not anymore, but they were. you got to be careful, these Swedes, that they don't shoot the Spanish ally. Would be unfortunate. And in here, you can see like, the final units of the Swedes have been broken. It's a sad sight. They fought hard. I mean, like I said, I personally feel like the Swedes could have done this on their own. The Austrians should have played this way. Because, I mean, in the end, this is a 3v2 over here. And, like, the Spanish army, all the way on his own, did a really good job holding on for a long time until Bavaria and the French and the Danish all could arrive. But, yeah, I mean, if the uh, Austrians had come down this hill, because they had uh, all their troops really around this hill, just come down and attack the Bavarians on the flank when they went to go and attack the Russian guns. Could have been catastrophic for the Bavarians. It just depends how good his uh, like micro and stuff is. Got to test these things. But we've got some uh, line infantry going in. Facing the lifeguard. They're going to need some like middle guard or something like that to break these guys. I would have thought. Unless army losses might cause these grenades to break. I doubt it. Don't really think uh, middle they're general, really a thing. But there you go. We've got a general breaking. Uh, I presume... That might be the Austrian general. I mean, he was got by some dragoons there of Bavaria. And yeah, this looks like it's the final unit, the final building. Bavaria is actually going to break. I mean, the Swedes are actually just rally the unit of uh, infantry. It's just terrible. Sweden probably going to be one of my least favorite factions, I think. Probably. Certainly for the Allies, maybe for uh, just like both sides, Allies and French. And yeah, I mean, this is kind of all that's left now. I'm just going to fast forward because, uh, I mean, there's not really much to, uh, to, to watch. We're just waiting for this building to fall, I think, and that's, that's kind of it. I mean, there's... 
Apparently a unit over here somewhere. Oh, it's a Swedish unit. Still holding. I mean, rep I mean, big rep to them then. Oh, there's another Swedish unit here. Oh, no, that's just broken as well. Okay, now I think it's this unit, this lifeguard. That's actually now pretty beaten up. I mean, yeah, it's all 68 men. This is line infantry. He's doing a good job. Prince Carl. The men of the are setting in more here. Line infantry now. And they've taken the building. Uh, I don't know what they still have then. They don't have anything. There you go. We have a victory for the French and their allies. So, yeah, this was sent in by uh, uh, J Master here, who was playing as the uh, Spanish army. He had the largest army. Actually, no, he didn't. Not quite. That was the Danish. But he had the, one of the largest armies on the battlefield. Um, the French actually probably outnumbered the Allies for one of the first times I think I've ever seen. The French usually have much smaller armies. Um, but yeah, so well done to Lemonhead, to uh, Ding Dong, to Implex, and to J-Master, who playing, all playing as like the uh, French and their Allies here. I mean, who got the most kills? Actually, it was J-Master here as well, getting about nearly 1,500 kills. I mean, he was kind of facing two armies, so well done to him. Then also well done to uh, ENG Dino, to Knight Nightington, to Fat Nose Midget, and to Horatio. All did a good job playing as the coalition forces. Just wasn't their day. Um, I mean, they got, like I said, I think uh, the Spanish and the Russians got two teamed. And you can see, look at the kills. I mean, Spanish nearly got a thousand, but the Russians only getting nearly uh, like 500. That's pretty poor for Russia. I mean, a, a very strong faction. Um, but yeah, I mean, then also like, I mean, the Swedes and the uh, and the Austrians did okay, did pretty well, but not enough. Um, but yes, there you go. If you enjoyed this NTW3 battle, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you know when my next video is out. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next battle. Bye for now.